All right, folks, there it is, the closing bell, and it's time for the Daily Closing Bell Report. How did we come up with that name? That is a heck of a name. <laughs> uh, Rob Williams, Newsmax Deputy Financial Editor, joins us on a down day on Wall Street. Let's put mm -hmm. up the numbers so all can see, and you'll see that the uh, Dow down uh, just three points. Um, and, uh, two, actually, what does it say there, 209? Um, anyway, uh, we have the uh, NASDAQ uh, falling... Uh, 20 some odd points, 27 points, and the uh, S&P, oh, the S&P fell three. I'm sorry, the Dow fell two. There you go. Uh, so what, what happened, Rob? Uh, well, today we got uh, the Federal Reserve's notes from its October meeting when it decided to end QE. And uh, investors, I think, were lo looking for more direction than they got on what's going to happen with interest rates next year. So what did they, what did they get? What, 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 uh, what, what's the verdict? Uh, well, just, <laughs> I suppose, to push it off until December. Um, so basically, they discussed uh, that the wording that we've uh, talked about before, the considerable time, about like how much time are we going to have between the end of QE and the raising the rates. Right. And so some, apparently some people at the meeting want to offer the markets more clarity on when exactly they plan to do that, and other folks want to just keep it a little vague to give themselves some wiggle room. Uh, right now, the markets are expecting a rate increase in the third quarter. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and the, the market at first, uh, at 2 o'clock Eastern, which is when the uh, minutes were read, yeah. uh, first went up a little bit and went down. So, I mean, basically, it was a, a, a flat day. It was where we started early in the morning with, right. the, with the numbers basically down. Yeah, and in November, we have not seen a move of 1% uh, or more in either direction. It's right. been very flat this month compared to what we saw in October. The most worrisome thing I think today was that the uh, the NASDAQ and the small caps uh, looked pretty tired. They declined and those could be lead leading indicators of where things are going to go more generally. So we'll see how that plays out in the next uh, week or so. Now there's uh, there was housing data out and also fund managers uh, uh, weighed in on uh, investing in, in stocks. Well, let me ask you about that first. Sure. When fund managers say that uh, they believe that uh, uh, stocks are, are the best investment. Mm -hmm. I know there are bond funds, but nonetheless, is that kind of self-serving? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I suppose it's a sign that they're all loaded up in stocks and would like to see the market uh, ri rise. Um, and so this is the type of year when a lot of uh, uh, investment banks and analysts try to give their outlook for the next year. And as part of that, uh, uh, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, published a study on uh, fund managers and what they expect. And about two-thirds of them expect uh, stocks to be the, the best investment next year based on uh, what they're looking at for global growth, low interest rates, and uh, corporate profits. And of course, what they're not telling you is that's a, as opposed to collecting marbles, it's better to put your money in the stock market again. <laughs> um, and, and what about uh, the news of uh, Obama's uh, immigration? Uh, uh, of course, we won't know what it is exactly uh, from the president's mouth until tomorrow night after mm -hmm. the market's closed. But do you see any uh, market reaction once that announcement is made? Uh, well, I was watching it very closely uh, to see if, if when uh, they were talking about it today in the news, and it didn't seem to move the needle either way. Uh, so I think the verdict is still out as to what's going to happen uh, with that announcement. Now, what do we have looking forward to uh, tomorrow? We have some uh, inflation numbers, unemployment claims. Right. Uh, tomorrow we'll get uh, the consumer price index, which uh, shows how Always much prices. excites me. <laughs> Love that consumer <laughs> price index, yes. Well, believe it or not, that's probably one of the most important things the Fed looks at, uh, probably the most important indicator. And uh, they expect prices to go down mostly because gasoline has fallen. Right. If you exclude gasoline, prices yeah. have gone up. All right, Rob Williams, appreciate it. As always, Newsmax Deputy Financial Editor. And uh, you know, folks, that if you want to take control of your financial future there it is you check out moneynews.com and you can do that live 24 7 lots of great stories and articles and uh, i was remiss i wanted to ask rob um, what he had uh, on there and what else was on the site we'll start doing that tomorrow but you can check it out at moneynews.com up next give me five don't go away